animals. It contracted the disease from wild birds that have migrated from Africa. David Woodland has this report. Derek Gibson keeps busy by feeding the wolves, but there's a gaping hole in his daily routine. Feeding the penguins is no longer one of his chores. They've had penguins here since the 1980s. And they've become firm favourites. They all had individual names. Live twice as long as a dog. Staff have shed many tears. I had the honour of actually raising them by hand. So you do, you become very, very attached to them. You see them every day. You interact with them, they recognise you. Then they don't. <laughs> uh, so it's, a, it's, a ma it's been a major, major um, problem for us and it's affected the staff hugely. Staff believe avian malaria was brought to the zoo by migrating birds. They can carry the pathogen without being affected, while penguins are particularly susceptible. They've had penguins here at Exmoor Zoo for decades, but they're not sure if they're going to be replaced. At the moment, emotions are just too raw. Will you get any more? I did it. Uh... I did, the, the answer to that is really, I just genuinely do not know. I'd, I, I'd love to tell everybody, yes, we will, um, but I'm not going to bring it back here if I think this is going to happen again or we can't cope with a scenario where this actually takes on. There's something about a penguin that can't help to lift the spirits. They were very popular with visitors. Yeah, I happened to see it this morning when I was looking on the internet about coming to the zoo. It's quite sad that they've gone. Looking forward to showing my little boy from the penguins. Will you miss them? Yeah, definitely. They're quite cute, and I thought, he's only 15 months, he'd quite enjoy seeing them. He's a bit disappointed, because everyone likes to see penguins. But for now, at least, the only penguins are in the gift shop. Mm -hmm. In Woodland, ITV News, Exmoor Zoo.